Greetings everyone, hope everybody's doing okay. Um, this is a video for, a detailed video for the T9 um, head unit that is, everybody's waiting for for a long time, for the longest time. So basically, um, I met Peter online in one of my groups. He's in my area in Quebec, uh, Canada. And uh, he requested from me to install his, his uh, T9 uh, unit. So I was like, okay, no problem, I'll do it. Um, we texted Messenger like usual, like I do. And um, we he said like, okay, I'm gonna come this day, which was today, and then uh, I'll install this T9. It was a pleasure for me, that's what I do. I'm a kind of person that whoever doesn't know me, um, I like to help the community um, just to make clear that uh, car trim home is kind of, you know, like uh, kind of uh, uh, my baby, uh, you know, like the products that you see, most of them, I have a big influence on it. I don't own the company. Um, I may have an affiliate account. I do have an affiliate account actually, but what I do is I share that affiliate account that's why I have coupons and I'm probably one of the least people, very rare people that, um, you know, like share the coupons with everybody else. Um, what's important to me is your satisfaction um, and uh, to be able to have a better community in the Toyota family with specifically the experiences that, you know, you have with some other um online groups. I do own my own groups. I stopped supporting any other group because I don't have the time for it. I don't have, um, like, I, I don't want headaches, kind of. So basically, um, what you need to do is to buy from my links if you want my support. A lot of people can tell you uh, what kind of a person I am. Uh, this is my garage, uh, kind of my man cave. I'm in the process of Finishing it, epoxy. <clears throat> um, so this video is an install, detailed install of the T9. There are some mistakes in the video. I could have cut it, edited the video. I left it on purpose. There are some mistakes that I did on purpose so that I can show you what other people, you know, go through and I feel it and I understand them and uh, to cut the frustration to everybody else that is trying to install the T9 video but is not able to um, make it as quick as possible to enjoy the unit. Once and for all, um, I wanna make sure that you understand this is the best unit out there for the price, for the money, for what it does. Let me repeat that. This unit, the T9 head unit, is the best unit, OEM looking unit, even better than Toyota. I know a lot of people would hate me for that. I don't care. Um, I just passed that age. I'm 42, four kids, a wife and a dog. I live in Canada. So uh, I'm kind of set. Um, thank God. This is not my job. This is a passion I have to help you out, achieve um, your passion or, you know, uh, to start loving your truck more because the OEM unit in the Toyota 4Runner is one of the worst units I've ever seen in my life. And I owned a lot of trucks. So it's a kind of um, a long video. Um, unfortunately, I cannot cut it. I want you to understand any of my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I have a lot of new stuff coming out. I have the new TRD 2020 I'm working on. It's in process. It's shipped. Um, and I have a lot of products that I influence, as I said, with Car Trim Home. Uh, and I work with Young. Um, Young is my friend. Uh, believe it or not, we never met uh, online. And uh, we bond. So he trusts me, I trust him. That's why I take care of you. And I built the trust 
It's been two years. I've built that, that trust um, with hard work. So if you need anything, click my link in the description. All of my videos have uh, links in the description. I own the Forerunner Group, um, the Cartrim Home, uh, T9 Group, um, you know, like to support you guys with all the installs, the hiccups that you have, the settings. Most of the time, it's a setting issue, uh, what you guys are having. Uh, the radio, probably it's not the perfect radio, 99%. I could say it's an amazing device. It's a perfect radio. It's an Android device. It's vulnerable to mess it up. If you have a defected unit, make sure you buy from my link. I will take care of you. And I mean it. A lot of people could assure and uh, testify for what I'm telling you. If you want to be my guest, go to Rhino, a cheaper for $10 or $5, or you find elsewhere cheaper, no problem. You can go buy it elsewhere from Rhino or anybody else. But don't come to my group and request for help. This is like uh, kind of inv inviting people to your house and then telling them, um, go sleep in the hotel. Doesn't make sense. We put a lot of time and effort in that group so that it becomes, you know, something that everybody is able to benefit from. So long story short, description uh, in the video, the link is where to buy the radio. And this is a detailed step-by-step -step how to install the T9 that no one else has done and cannot do because they do not know the radio in and out. I know the radio in and out. So I hope you like it. Yes, there are some mistakes. <clears throat> Absolutely. I'm not a perfect guy. A perfect man. The only person who was perfect was Jesus. Um, so if you agree with me, please click thumbs up to this video. Like it, share it. It's going to be on the site, uh, in the group. And uh, let's go from there. Thank you, guys. Hey, everyone. Um, this video is long due. Uh, actually, believe it or not, I have uh, met somebody online, a friend in my same area. His name is Peter. He got this uh, and I'm installing it for him. So this is a step-by-step -step on how to install the T9. I want to go over the accessories or actually the bundle harnesses that you get. Once and for all, so everybody understands. This is the canvas controls your steering wheel this is the antenna 3m sticker in the back that goes um, in the back of the radio right there and it activates your 3g or 4g lte connection which needs the sim card to work this is the USB activating. It's a harness included in the link and the bundle that I put together activates the OEM USB um, of the unit. This is an external extra microphone you can use, which plugs in to the bunch of harnesses right there. A lot of people say, I can't find where to plug it in. We're talking about the T9 Forerunner, not the PX6, T9 Forerunner. Those are the bunch of harnesses that you will use, which has the main power harness that goes here and then there. And then radio antenna, a lot of people miss this. Make sure you plug this and this to the radio so it functions, you don't hear some squeaking or whatever. <clears throat> These, one of these are your backup camera. How do you know which one? It's connected. The male harness is connected to the bigger harness, <clears throat> which is this so this is parallel the yellow harness i mean the yellow rca 
is connected to the white, bigger white harness. The other one doesn't go anywhere. The other one is like for an extra uh, front cam or anything else you use. These are the USBs, extra USBs that you can use. One of them is powered. So one of them goes uh, to your OEM and the second one goes to whatever you want to plug in. If you bought the CarPlay, which comes, there's an address on it, which you can download the car kit. That's the external <clears throat> wireless CarPlay. So if you bought this, one of them connects here or to the OEM USB. This is a Wi-Fi antenna, which you have Wi-Fi right there. You connect it to Wi-Fi. And then GPS connects to GPS. So in both cases, that's the whole set that comes with it, the whole harnesses. I think right now it's clear. After this video, you shouldn't have any problems connecting any wires. The SIM card tray comes, um, you know, a standalone harness and connects to the to the SIM card tray. So if you miss any of the um, labelings, they're right there. It says one by one. <clears throat> so there you go, guys. It's going to be a full video. I'm going to start taking off the OEM on Peter's truck. By the way, this is the first time I see this, this truck, this color. Beautiful truck. Anybody in uh, Quebec should know this truck. So let's start by taking off the OEM. Okay guys, now back we're, in, we're back in the truck. So you gotta remove those two panels right there. So the best way to do is hold it like this and then move it a bit up and bottom, it just pops out. The second one, same thing, grab it well. Don't pry, if you pry and you have a TRD Pro or black inside, there's a tray right here. And then you can scratch the sides right there. So I would say, grab it like this, and then from the bottom, work it out, left, right. Just pops out. Make sure you don't break these. Those are expensive at the dealer, like five bucks each maybe. So I'm gonna do pieces of videos and then um, we'll take off uh, the main radio. The video is gonna be a bit long and it's gonna be in pieces. So have patience guys. So now guys, you gotta remove the vent knobs so hold it one on one side and pull. And then pull on the other side too. Place it down, you don't scratch it. Try to use something to put it under so you don't scratch it. Now you have two screws right there or four. One, two, three, and four. If I'm not mistaken, it's 10. So that's a 10. These you will not use again with the T9. So you don't need to use it. is doing the filming he's our cameraman today <laughs> so 
So once you're done, you just jiggle it a bit. Four tabs holding it. Four yellow and two whites. It's heavy, guys. The OEM is heavy. So the best thing to do is put your hand under it and then start working. You don't need to know this. Start working. Uh, that's the hazard right there. This has to come off. You can leave it later and then, you know, take it off with the radio. So work out the harnesses one by one. Take it out, be patient. Don't scratch anything. We good, Peter? Yeah, we're good. You want me to hold it? The, no, the radio, no, I mean. No, no, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so these are done. There is also the GPS. And then remove the corner harness from the metal bracket. This is going to be tough without the... Yeah. And you're done. This two. You're done. So these you don't need to remove. These are for the XM satellite. Oh. Okay, again. Yeah? You they see it? Yeah, because you're fingering it up in front of the Yeah. So these are for the satellite, XM satellite. You will not use it, it goes through the app. This, you don't need it. We need to remove these and I'll cut the video and continue to show you what else is gonna be done to move these tabs with the vents to the new T9 uh, trim. So again, guys, I'm gonna cut, move this inside. Go. So guys, um, for this to move the vents, to the uh, T9, you have a couple of screws here, and then you gotta move the hazard. What you need to do on the hazard is cut this red tape. Watch, watch the uh, harness, don't cut it, so that you release this, because it's in a metal tray. Let me redo it. Yeah, so I mean I can I can take off with the whole plastic if you want, but I'd rather take only the metal, only the harness. So remove the tape and then this right there just bend it a bit if you see what I'm doing bend it and then go up you see you just bend this up so that it leaves the spot now again cut this So you see how I have my knife not all the way out? <clears throat> and this too. On the side. So now internally to remove the hazard you just press you 
you press right there from inside both ends you press and then push out it comes out so i can go both ways you see this i cut it i take all this or i leave it and then i take the plastic I take the plastic thing out so technically I have to pry this I have to pry this press it from the sides so that it releases this so I can either cut all this take it out and then put it back in. I left mine this way. I left the plastic. I redid the um, tape so that it would be protected. Cause this, this guy right there are thin cables. I don't want to take the chance and cut all this. You got the idea guys? So I'm going to cut again the video and then start the fan, you know, removing these to the to the T9. So guys, now we're taking out these vents. You need Phillips screwdriver. Probably you need uh, two kinds. What I did is I tried one. Um, if it's moving too much, don't mess up the screws. You have one. See, this one doesn't go here. I need this one. So try to have a Phillips screwdriver, which is actually this one doesn't go. It, you, you can ruin the head this one is better what we're doing is we're taking out these plastics moving them to the new one and then internally we got to move these the vents to the new one so one and then excuse the video guys so we're trying to work as much as we can so put them on the side And then grab the second one, I think. No, so this one. So you see what it is right there? You have one, two. So hold it well. Yeah, you got to have a magnetic. Um, screwdriver and then another one here so this if you move it it would be better so the plastic comes out place the plastic move it around do the same thing right there This one too. Okay, so now we have the plastics out. Now, the trick with this is, <clears throat> there's a tab right there for the vent. And then another one right them in the middle on top like right there i don't know if you can see it you probably can't but you got to pop it out from here before we do that we got to move the this to the trim doesn't come with it so to do that don't mix the screws they're different screws sorry peter no problem now this thing comes off, it has a tray. Yes, the other Chinese one, the trim is not 100%. Um, 
you may see some gaps you will see it when I, when I install it but now since we remove that you see the knobs right there so what I do with those knobs the best way to do is use a plastic prior just open it a bit and then jiggle it it comes out so now we have one one two so what i suggest to do is if you open it from there Yeah, so are we able to see? You have one here, let me put it this way. These inside, are we able to see Peter or no? Yeah, right there. So this has to come out. So I suggest work out with pushing it from the back a bit. If you go like this, Let me see the best way so we don't break the knobs. Uh, yeah, so this one, this one. See how it went out? I was pushing a bit on it. Don't pull much, you're gonna break the tab. So these two are out now. I keep holding it, move to the second one, right there. I keep pulling up a bit. The, th the third one came out, and now this. Somewhere it's stuck, this one. You have another one here, that's it. Now hold it, the fourth one, the, the sixth one right there, and it's out. You got to be patient with this. It's, it's, or else you break the tabs, you break the plastic, then, you know, plastic costs a lot at Toyota. <laughs> so let's do the second one. I'm going to stop the video and then do the second one. It's the same concept. And then we go and put it in the T9. Thanks, guys. Perfect. So now uh, we need to move these four yellow tabs and the two whites. The trick for this is I use two things. One is a, a flathead screwdriver, you know, or anything on the other side, plastic. So I go like this, one side, and then the other side, and then pull up. That's how I remove it. Because if you open it a lot, it cracks. This is three bucks at Toyota. If you open it a lot, it's gonna crack. So I try to maneuver my way. You can do these two. Just make sure don't open it a lot, it cracks. Again, I'm repeating. Don't come crying to me after saying <laughs> that it cracked. Just the right amount. Imagine your, your first night with your girlfriend. I know some people are sick and they like rough. <laughs> so be gentle guys and girls. If you have a better idea, tell me, I like to learn stuff. And by the way, Peter and I, we never met before. This is the first time. So. New best friends. New best friends. That's the community. This one's tough. That's it. We're gonna have to bring it now. Now, uh, this is done. That's the OEM unit. Um, these, as I said, it's XM. You don't need it, leave it. Put it on the side, sell it. Personal, um, like I just, in my personal idea, this I still have. Right now, I haven't sold it. Why? Unfortunately, Chinese, it could break. So just to have on the side, uh, without walking, you know, like driving without a, a radio, it's tough. So keep it, guys. I kept it. You can sell it. 
And if you buy from my links, guaranteed I'll take care of you. Always. Make sure you buy from the links. I always have coupon. I take care of you. So now we're going to move everything to the T9. See you in a bit. So guys, yellow tabs outside. Don't press on the T9, the screen is fragile. If you crack it, that's $125. <clears throat> so, as I said, four yellow tabs outside. Two whites in the middle. And now, We got to put these vents accordingly, left and right. Make sure you put it the right way. So look, this one couldn't fit here. Probably it's like this because of the tabs. So we'll figure it out how it goes. Basically, uh, if this goes here, It says right hand, left hand. Yeah, right hand. So this is the right, yeah. that's the left, perfect. So, first things, before putting this, before putting it here, make sure you have these installed because then it's gonna be tough uh, to work um, with the uh, screws or tabs inside. So this is a right hand we said. Just doing the best so that you can see from the video. This is the hardest part, guys, um, of the whole install. So everything clicked in place. It has to be in the tray. Some people mention that it's not flush or there's a gap cause these tabs wouldn't be in as they're supposed to be so this thing shouldn't come off so once we put that then on the front side this too has a left and right So this goes there, this goes here. If I try, just for the fun of it, I wanna show you that this doesn't go like this. It doesn't fit. So it has also a side. So this thing is up. Once you put it in the holes, push it well. Try it if it's working. And then in the back, those two holes, you see how you push this and then it's gonna bother you screwing in, screw it again. So push it down, technically open it, so that you can have those little two screws connected. So since it's a magnetic one. I have, it's gonna be easier for me. Don't tighten these much. And then make sure, as I said, to push this down. Cause if it was like that, it would bother you. You can't screw it. So push it down. And then, second one. Yeah, Peter and I were just talking on 42. I can't see the hole anymore. 
Oh, I'm still kicking. So there you go, guys. That's one side. So now we have nothing is moving. Everything is freely working. Open close. We're good to go. Cut the video and we're gonna do the second side. We gotta put in the uh, hazard switch. So this thing has to be off because it goes from outside to inside. And yes, this is something that everybody's uh, complaining about. So this thing gets stuck. What I did on mine is I just, on the sides inside, um, I just, um, what do you call it? Like uh, rubbed it a bit. So let's say from here inside, I just rubbed it and then it doesn't get stuck anymore. The thing is okay, the switch is okay. But if you plug it in, sometimes it gets stuck. So once it's out, it's better from the from behind. So the trick is, some people told me to put some uh, electric tape and then it would be done. So if we put that and then the harness in the back and this, you don't need to plug it anywhere because the OEM had kind of a metal. What I did is on mine, I left it hanging in the back and I tucked this inside and I call it a day. So I'm gonna bring in uh, electric tape and then do it like that. And then we'll continue to the truck. So guys, this is, we're left to put, we put back one of the vents and this thing is ready to go. Basically, it has a tray. Many people mentioned that this thing is uh, not 100%. So, You just slide it in, make sure it's, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's not 100% cut. You would see some defects, but you wouldn't see it while driving. So make sure it's in the tray, align those two holes, and screw it in. This is okay, this is okay. Action. Okay, so we had a hiccup here as, as, as I was telling you, make sure it's in the tray and it's aligned. So when I was putting it in, this wasn't going in, there's a groove right there. So if I'm having this issue, you will have that issue. As I said, this is the longest part um, of the install, uh, the, the installing the T9. Everything else is piece of cake from now on. So make sure it's aligned and make sure that the groove is inside or else you will see a gap. Perfect, so take your time, push it in. Work one time at the corner. Is this better? Push it from here and then make sure it's centered.
Okay, so now we have this gap right there. As I said, it's not gonna be perfect. You're not gonna see it. I can still play with it, tighten it a bit, but it's not gonna be perfect. So when you're driving, you're not gonna see this because you're seeing it from top right now. So for me to avoid this, I have a TRD plastic. I'll show you in the video next. So let's move to the truck. This is and connect all the harnesses. Just pay attention of what I'm installing and where. So instead of going to the truck and putting the harnesses, I'm going to put it here and then we're ready. We take it out and then install everything in the truck. So these come uh, red caps. This is the 3G, 4G antenna. So this thing comes right there. At the end of the day, you're gonna tighten it to a certain point that it's not too tight to break because this, it, they break. So don't tighten it too much. And right there you have the Wi-Fi and then the GPS. So that's the GPS. <clears throat> Personally, I leave it like that. I just, you know, go a bit out and then install it there so as i mentioned don't tighten it a lot you're gonna break the pin now we have the wi-fi antenna some people bought on amazon an extra wi-fi antenna now this thing guys it pops out so while you're installing it, if it pops out, you lose it behind the radio. So make sure this thing is, you know, doesn't pop out. I should have installed the Wi-Fi first and then the GPS because I'm having trouble, you know, um, putting it together. Okay, so since we have it now, what I do is, Peter, keep filming here. I'm gonna bring my, uh, uh, so at the end, what I do is I tighten it to a certain limit. everything down because I'm going to pull with the wires I think that's good then the Wi-Fi that's good nothing is moving we'll continue to uh, don't stop no worries Peter <clears throat> So now, <coughs> so these are the USBs. Everyone has a different pin. This is a six pin. You match it to the six pin, the groove to the bottom. My bad, the groove to the top. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, so the groove to the top, six pin. Now, so we have the full harness, the main harness. 
has multiple ones. Not all of them are gonna be used. By the way, as we spoke in the beginning of the video, these two, one of them is the camera. Which one is the camera? The bigger harness. If you see, there's a small one and the bigger one. So the one that is connected to the bigger harness is the camera. That's one. And that is the second one. The bigger harness is the camera, which says camera on it. So you connect the groove on top, we said. You connect this. See how I'm pushing on the radio? Make sure you have something under, not hard plastic, you're gonna break it. So this is no good. You plug it in and then you shouldn't. Once you do pull slightly, you shouldn't, you know, the, the harness shouldn't come out. So this is okay. Now, the most important part, don't cut these. If you cut these, it's gonna interfere with your radio signal. So just go plug and play, match everything. Try to tidy up as much as you can and go step by step. We said groove to the top. This is no good again. Some people will have trouble plugging this. This white thing doesn't go in. Push. Push the top plastic inside up until it clicks. So I'm gonna get my straight <clears throat> screwdriver. Try to push it. through this process. Which is the antenna, goes right there. Don't forget the antenna on, in the truck. And then these are, we're left with this. Try again. there's a pin that's bent yeah okay so the the pre the two minutes ago i was trying to fit this and i think uh i did the same mistakes that lately i'm seeing online um i tried to fit this in this which is impossible because it doesn't have grooves you see this has two grooves one and two peter you see the grooves one and two, are they showing yep. in the video? Yep. So this thing doesn't have a groove. So what people are trying to do, trying to fit this, I did the same mistake. Um, Cause I was like hurrying, trying to videotape it and stuff like that. So this bunch of harnesses plugs into here. 
for one reason, either you have uh, multiple reasons, but for one reason for people that don't have amps or extra cameras. If you want to connect ex external mic, which is this, then you gotta install this bunch of harnesses. If you don't want to, you want to go with the built-in mic, then don't install this. So this is in. This is in, and now we're gonna continue with the canvas. That thing that we were trying to plug it, plug in here was for the canvas. So the canvas clicks in. Everything you put in, make sure it doesn't come out. And then we're left with the second USB which is gonna be connected to the OEM USB. It's gonna activate it, which plugs in with the four, um, harness with four pins. Then push it in lightly until it clicks. Try to move it. If it comes out, no good. You gotta push it in all the way. So now it's good. <clears throat> So now we have our two USBs, the SIM harness. Do you want me to put it in or yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want me to reroute it to the glove box? Is it a big deal to do or? No, but I'd rather not leave it. And then... No, I'd rather put it Yeah, if okay. you don't mind. No, no, I'll, I'll put it, so perfect. So now we have this doesn't fit here, so it's up. By the way, guys, there's the picture in the back, uh, like what goes where. Um, there's a post about that. So these are, these are all good. Microphone is gonna be installed in the truck later. And that's the last thing people should understand. This is the rear camera. So this rear camera, which comes a single female harness alone goes. So watch this guys. This is how you activate the camera. <clears throat> the single female harness goes to the bigger white Which one is it? Is it this one? Yep, yeah, that one. So, as I mentioned before, there's the RCA male, two RCA uh, yellow male uh, RCAs, and the bigger harness is the one that you need to plug the camera to. That's how you activate your camera. That's it. Everything else, plug and play, Two, K, two harnesses are not gonna be plugged. This is ready, uh, we go to the truck. Okay, perfect. So now back we're in the truck. I'm working with this so that um, I don't mess up the screen. Don't push, you're gonna break it. So guys, work your way in. Work from the truck to the radio. See, it doesn't fit. So I work from the truck to the radio. It doesn't fit. So, because I know which one is which, um, I just want to show you how usually I connect. I know this guy is the um, so I know this guy is um, the antenna, which also is connected right there. Is it clear, Peter? Mm -hmm. So this is an antenna and this is an antenna. Some of you miss this and you're gonna have some screech sound and screeching and I don't know what. So this we do not use. XM and this is the hazard. At the end, we're gonna put it. This we do not use. This is GPS and this is XM. So those two are not used. Now, let's match 
Let's match the harnesses. Where are they? Let me see. No. No. Is it clear? It's clear. Yeah. Here. Okay, so you see, I'm, I'm pretending to be you. I know which ones are wha what, but I'm matching from the truck to my harnesses, to the T9. If it doesn't match, it doesn't go in. If it matches, then you're good. It's absolutely not there. It's absolutely not there. Again, try to push a bit. Don't pull from the wires. You're going to mess the pin and then something is going to mess up. So you're good. Everything I put in, I try. Okay, now we have this not plugged in, that not plugged in. This is not in. Anything else? So we... We good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, we received the call. So sorry, guys. And then... We don't have any more harnesses left. Let me double check. I have this, this harness, which I haven't plugged in. So let me try this. Oh, look, look at that. It plugged in. So I'm checking. I have no more harnesses. I have one harness left, uh, two harnesses left from the T9. And that's the USB. This is the OEM USB. Did we put in the OEM USB? We brought it. Uh, There's a harness. I think this you, is you brought. No, I, I I gotta go bring it. Hold on. Okay. Let me. So here's the OEM USB. This gray thing is the OEM USB. It plugs in into the black USB, and then it plugs in to the one of the USBs that we just installed. Oops. Where is it? It is this one. So either or, one of them is powered. So try which one is powered, I don't know by heart, but one of these USBs that we have is powered. Most probably it is this one with the four pin, not the six pin. So everything is plugged right now. Radio should be on. OEM USB works. I'm going to start tucking in most of the stuff to the back. Let's not forget the hazard. So this is the hazard. Okay, so here's how I do it. <clears throat> we have the GPS. I don't even stick it. What I do is in the middle console, there's a small hole right under the vent. And then I just tuck it in behind the vent like that and leave it facing towards there. It's not gonna move, it's not gonna do anything. You can stick it anywhere you want, but it's gonna come off. I've tried it before. Second thing, the extra USB, you can plug anything you want to it. Right now it's extra. I don't wanna plug anything. Any day you want, you can plug something to it. I could reroute it uh, to the, uh, glove box somewhere here and then goes out but I don't think Peter you're gonna need that so you already have enough USBs and yeah. stuff and then this antenna which is the 3G we said for the data or 4G or LTE again I tuck it 
to the right side without even sticking it. Now we're left with this, the SIM card. So the SIM card tray. So that SIM card tray, I can route it out from here. Is there a hole somewhere? There should be a hole. Stop it. It's always tough. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I do. Yeah, good. So we just rerouted and took off the SIM card over there, SIM tray. And now it's time to put the radio in place. So what I do is I hold it and then tuck it. make sure the cables are tidied up in the back and while I'm pushing it should be loose I shouldn't be pushing in the middle of the screen you crack it so on the sides you got to hear four clicks one two three and four and now it doesn't move anymore the radio doesn't come out. So that's how you hold it in place. Don't push on the radio, don't push on the corners. This radio is ready to run. You put this back. By the way, you don't put the OEM screws back. Forget about it. Once you put this, it even holds it in place. It doesn't come out, it doesn't move. Whoever was wondering about the black, this is a TRD the blacked out inside like oem black it comes those are my kids that's when you have four and the dog you didn't have two. <laughs> so the black mat really matches with the trd internal so whoever's wondering this is the the black version and uh where's the Let me check. Okay, so we'll, we'll do the settings, we'll cut the video and then do the settings. That's, that's the only truck which is this color, guys. That's Peter. Hi, guys. And here's your T9 right there. How was, how was the install, uh, Peter? It was easier than I thought it was. <laughs> it was way, it so was awesome. enjoy. There you go. And uh, safe driving. Thanks, Take care, buddy. Take care.